Describe him as a fighter. Honestly, um, he's not, bro. He's not at my level. Uh, you can say all you want. He's he's a world champion twice. But who has to beat? He hasn't beat anyone at Super Bantamweight. Who did he beat at Bantamweight? He didn't beat nobody at Bantamweight. I took over the Bantamweight division. I took over the Super Bantamweight division. The featherweight division, I fought the world champion at the time where I was Ponce de Leon. I suffered one defeat. That doesn't make me a bad fighter. I just let you know that, uh, you know, we're all vulnerable. So it just happened. You know what I'm saying? I got caught. It happens. Defeat. I taste the defeat. I'm back on top, and now I'm gonna prove to the world and the five fans out there that uh, there's no such thing as coincidence. This fight was made just for me. Under uh, Leo's, Leo's fought some questionable opposition the last couple years. Do you feel that when somebody's fought that lower level opposition for an extended period of time, that they tend to regress, and that you're kind of catching him maybe at a better time than if this fight would have happened a couple years ago? So you mean to his? You mean you mean as his whole career, right? Because all his career has been fighting that. Um, I don't remember the last good fighter that he's faced. Um, you know, I think this is going to be his tough, a tougher fight to this date. Not just on paper, but in life. He's gonna he's gonna really see what what an A -label, level fighter does inside the ring. Abner, he told us earlier that the difference is going to be he thinks this is a conditioning. He thinks he has a better condition than you. That you get tired. That's what he said. That's his game all the time. What else does he do? Go forward, throw punches, bottom him up punches, go for the body. Tell me other fighting style that he's done. Tell me, as he box, as he, wow, he threw a nice combination. No, no, this guy just comes forward, throws a lot of punches. I know what he's bringing to the table. I know what I have to get ready for. I know if I stay there, I'm gonna suffer a little bit, but guess what? I've been there before, and I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna stay pocket in the pocket. I'm gonna stay toe to toe, and I'm gonna give him the taste of his own medicine. How valuable is it to have in the bank the experience against someone like Vic Darchinian, where you were cut and knocked down? And Leo Santa Cruz doesn't have those kinds of experiences coming into a fight like this. It's everything. It's everything. But you know, I don't pay any attention to that because before the the Darchinian, I have never been knocked down. I have never been cut, but I went through that. You know. Um, so with that said, I, he might go through it too, you know, he, he might have a strong mentality, who knows, he might not, he might get worried, he might, I might get into his head. I think, you know, I'm taking this fight really personal because I know, I know that I'm better than him. And not do I only have to prove to the fans, I got to prove to myself. And I, I'm going to do just that to my family, to my fans, to LA, that this is my town. Hashtag this is my town. I try not to put any numbers on it, you know, no percentage. I just go in there and, you know, do me. I don't know. I, I know what he's bringing into the table. I know the fighting style he brings in. It's a tough, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to maintain for 12 rounds. But guess what? You know, I train for 15 rounds. Guess what? I'm doing four, four and a half minute rounds. Guess what? You know, I fought 12, 12 rounds many times. Guess what? I've been knocked down. Guess what? I've been knocked down. Guess what? I've been cut. There's nothing new that he, that I can go in there and suffer.